Walpole Film Festival started in 2003 as one of the first high school film festivals in the country. The program has been recognized nationally as a model for creativity and collaboration in the classroom. Students in the program are required to follow each step in modern independent digital filmmaking. This includes screenwriting, acting, art direction, shooting on digital cameras, editing on professional software, and composing original music. The festival culminates each year with a red carpet ceremony that celebrates the achievements of each crew. To learn more about this year's Walpole Film Festival and how to become a sponsor, please visit our website, walpolefilmfestival.com. Thank you and enjoy the movie. Boys, let me tell you, I am not in the greatest of moods right now. I'm in the middle of my Sunday nap, having possibly the greatest dream of my life. I'm in a submarine with Jim Morrison, a half-naked Indian, the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders on my way to an underwater resort. And I get woken up by a call from Mr. Bacall to tell me that there are kids breaking into the school. I don't know what to say next. Clarence, Edmund. You two are the last group of people I expected to see here. Ace, Carter, I assume you two clowns are the ringleaders of this whole ordeal? By Inbush's beard, I have no idea what this is all about. It's completely over my head. Now can you explain to me what's going on here? In order to fully understand this day, I'll have to start from the beginning. It all started about four months ago. B7. Ah, crud, you just sunk my battleship. Why are you so amazing at this game? I just basically used deductive reasoning, uh, kind of like in this calculus homework, which is ridiculously easy. You've been doing that the whole time we were playing battleship? Uh, I'm a bit of a multitasker. Yeah, right. Hey, what happened to all the hot dogs? We ate them last time. Crab they put in the newspaper sometimes. Well, dude, look at this. Hank the Frank is back. Look at that, dude. June 19th, we have to go see this. Oh man, I can't believe they let them back in the state after they freed all those alpacas at that last concert. Dude, I wish we went to that concert. We did go to that concert. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, June 19th. So? It's finals week. So? We're failing every class! Dude, it's okay, I'm passing gym. Hold on, hold on. Let me get this straight. You want to go to this concert so badly that you put it before finals? And then, instead of just skipping the finals, you want to shut down the whole school so that there aren't any finals at all? This whole thing is about a concert? Not just any concert, this is a Hank the Frank! With the eardrum exploding drum beats of Hank Clydesley? Yeah, and the, and the floor shaking bass beats of Frank Fuller? And the wailing screaming guitar solos of Alright, alright, enough about franking Hank! Hank the Frank! Whatever! <sighs> Clarence, why don't you take the story over from here? Certainly, sir. Um, so aside from calculus, would you rather have an all-day movie marathon of Star Trek or Monty Python? Well, I prefer Star Trek, but either way, we're gonna have to have some refreshments. My mom just bought a lot of stuff at the store, so we can just go get some snacks downstairs. Stellar. Come on, let's go. Can't wait for this movie marathon. 
All we have is Bumblebee Tuna? Ace! <laughs> Number 18, <coughs> Spin Cycle. <laughs> Ace, did you and your idiot friend eat all the food again? No. <laughs> Seriously, no. Alright, I'm sick of you guys roaming around this place thinking you own everything and eating all the food in the house. I mean, it's ridiculous. You're not the only people that live under this roof. Well, maybe you should have gotten the snacks first. And who called an idiot, you nerd? I'm calling you one, you imbecile. That's it! <laughs> so basically, you guys are here because of snacks. Uh, well, well, I, I, I suppose you can. So it that you way. guys, Ace and Carter, decided to shut down the school so you could go to some concert. Basically. So when did the two of you come up with this master plan of yours? About four months ago. And what did everybody do during these three months? We prepared. About mice. What? You know the little furry things that scamper around and eat cheese? <laughs> I know what mice are. I mean, like, what are you gonna do with them? Just let them free? Yeah, just let them roam. Can't have school with a bunch of mice running around. That won't work. Why? Because, where are we gonna get enough mice to close down the entire school? Good point. So, what's your big plan then? Alright, well. What we'll closes down in restaurants all the time? Fires? <laughs> yeah, but we just want to close down the school for a couple days. I'm not trying to commit a major felony. Okay, so how about bombs? And no major felonies. I got nothing, man. <laughs> Sanitation goats? Still nothing. Like health inspectors and stuff, you know? They close down restaurants all the time if sanitation things aren't up to par. It's on TV shows and stuff. So, you want to make the school look dirty? Not look. Smell. I'm not following you. Yeah, like air vents. They carry air all around the school. All we have to do is put something smelly in a couple of the air vents. The smell travels everywhere. Bingo, school's closed. That could work, but what are we going to put in the vents? Fish! Perfect! We'll get a bunch of fish. Put them in the air vents, the smell will be terrible. That's gotta be good some sanitation codes. We're in business, that school's as good as closed. Operation shutdown in action. Edmund, this is bad. This is really bad. No, this is like the epitome of something that is very bad and I have a very low pit in my stomach right now. I don't, Clarence, I don't know what we're gonna do. Are you all right? Yeah. Clarence, are you okay? Yeah, I'm not gonna get into Cornell. Clarence, I'm not gonna, where is okay. Cornell? Is that we're, in Canada? We're gonna be able to do something. We're gonna be able to do something. We're gonna get it back. You're not gonna, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to stop somehow. You wanted to go to Harvard your whole life. I know, I, it's been my dream. We need to do something. We have to. We have to do something. Let's go postulate this in our thinking caps. Very good idea.
Sorry, dude, I couldn't find my other shoe. <sighs> Whatever, let's just get out of here. What? Where's your suit? Suit? Matching black suits? We're supposed to wear them today. All good heists have matching black suits. If you don't dress good, the heist won't run smoothly. We know over this. My bad, dude, I just completely forgot. Now I just look like an idiot. Dude, I'm sorry, I should have remembered. Whatever, it's fine. You got the fish at least, right? Yeah, it's in the back. Good, good. What'd you catch, like, uh, pickerel, bass? Um, swordfish? Where the hell did you catch swordfish? Stop and chop. You got fish from Stop and Chop? They salt those so they don't smell bad. Defeats the purpose. We may need to add something else to this plan, though. I'll think of something. I'll trust you. Hey there, Clarence. Edmund, are you ready for today? Well, well I think so. No, let me ask you again. Are you ready for today? Clarence, what is wrong with you? I'll tell you I am yelling at you, soldier. Too many years, 17, I've had to pick spitballs out of my delicate curls, okay? I've had to deal with nuclear wedgies and atomic wedgies and just everything. We need to go into school today and we need to defend nerd kind against slacker kind and people like Ace and, and Sean Penn and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I mean, they've modeled like eight different Revenge of the Nerds movies after this, man. We need to go in there and make our own Revenge of the Nerds movie, okay? We need to go in there and represent nerd kind for everybody. Everybody! Clarence, you're scaring me. You need a little fear in your brain, buddy. Uh, all right, whatever you say, Clarence. That's it. All right, well, we gotta get to the high school quickly because we need to beat Ace and Carter there, so uh, we should get a move on. But Clarence, they've left already. They have a huge head start on us. No, if I know Ace, he's probably making a pit stop somewhere right now. I love Falcon. Remember your seatbelt. Mess around with Al Brown. That guy is crazy. Yeah, that's for sure. So, uh, have you figured out the rest of this plan? Yeah, I don't think I got it covered. We're gonna have to split up. Split up? Why? Because, dude, it will save so much more time. And I don't want to be romping around the school with Al Brown roaming around. <sighs> Fine. All right. I left everything you need to break into the vent and put the fish in it downstairs in the music hallway. Okay. So, what are you going to do? I'm about to make Mr. Connor's job a little bit easier. What? What? Ace, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do! You'll figure it out. I trust you. Just meet me in the car when you're done. Damn it! That's bizarre. They're splitting up. They never said anything about that in their plan. 
Do you know what that means, Edmund? We're gonna have to split up too. I'll get my brother and you get Carter. Are you kidding me, Clarence? It's one thing taking these guys on head on, the two of us. But me versus Carter? Oh. That's just suicide. Edmund, it's the only way, okay? We need to do this, and I know you can do it. Only if I get to keep my comic book collection. Deal. Let's do this. Goodbye, soldier. What happened here? Clarence, what the hell are you doing here? I know what you guys are up to. I'm not letting you go through with it. Why wouldn't you let us go through this? We're trying to close down the school, don't you get it? Ace, if you guys close down the school, I will not be able to attain my 4.0 GPA. Do you understand that? It's too late now, brother. Once I hit send on this computer, an email is going out to every parent saying that school is closed because of a horrible fishy smell. There's nothing you can do about it. We'll see about that. All right. Who's Clarence? I am your brother. No! Oh, good. You're already here. All right, grab a seat. You guys have a lot of explaining to do. I'll start talking. No, All right, all right. Boys, let me tell you, I am not in the greatest of moods right now. That's how me and Edmund here got involved in this crazy little incident, sir. All right, all right, I already know that part. But that's why you guys are in my office? Did you really send that email? Dear students and parents, please disregard my last email. School will continue as normal. Mr. Connor. Well, that's just great. By the way, how did you know that we were all in here anyway? Oh, uh, Mr. Bacall called me when you snuck in his room. Apparently we're still in there. Howdy, y'all. I was wondering why I was in there. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't get it. Cool. Yeah. I didn't even yeah. like, question it. Yeah. There still is one final question I have to ask. Mr. Bacall, why are you in school on a Sunday afternoon? Oh, sweet. 
sweet lavender. Oh, so soothing. I've been waiting for you all day. Come to Papa. Oh yeah. Delicious. Now you two, you will be suspended for the rest of the week and you'll have to come back in the summer to make up your finals. Suspended? Like we can't go to school? So we can go to the concert? Yeah! See how y'all dig this here.